Hey, girlies. Good morning, girls. It is a heavy dew, like 50 degree morning. It is so nice out here. I love it. This fall, fall is my season. Um, we got girls in this pen here and they need to go all the way past the barnyard and into the pen to the west because EJ is going to be hauling shit again today and they can't be in the pen that they're in because there's no water over there and on the other side our dual water um dual richie water is over there so then they'll be able to drink but anyway we gotta get them to move and everybody is between this pen and then like the new pen over yonder that we made so he just started the skiddy up everybody when he started it we had a few girls put their head up and they know what that sound is so they're going to start moving towards the sound he's going to grab a bale and we're going to go feed them in the pen that they're supposed to be in and we'll shut gates hey buddy you're getting fed this morning getting a fresh bale everybody here is the skid steer they know what that sound is they know what the skid steer is they know what the tractor is and they know what the lawnmower is and they come home for all of those sounds spoiled rotten brats you all are spoiled rotten brats Veronica, what's good? What's up, what's good this morning? What's up, what's good? You're kind of a snot. served. Get on. He's down there in that second pen putting the bale in. We got good followers. Cattle dog. Probably making things worse. He's a good worker though. Always ready to go and do. Just isn't the most helpful all the time. Ruby, you don't gotta eat that bale. There's a whole fresh bale. Keep on walking, girlfriend. Keep on going. We got a few stragglers out here. A few calves, I think. Yeah, there's a few cows out there still too that need to come and I'll zoom in. You can see them in the woods there. Gotta wait for everybody to pick it up this morning. Come on, girls. Let's go. Come on, girls. Come on. Belle is the cow that's out there. She's a Jersey, um, she's a few years old, and she's got a limp right now, so I'm gonna go talk to EJ. And once these calves come through, I think we're gonna try lock her in here, try get her in the barn, so we can get her healed up. Hey, Belle, look it. Look at green. Do you have a treat? Oh my. <laughs> Here we There you go, sweetie. You got a buddy in here, even. <coughs> Who are you, Miss Lady? Who are you? Are you my mom? Belzy. It's your old home. He's excited. <laughs> you got a new buddy in here. What do you all think? What do you think? Is this new? New and exciting? He's excited. Are we gonna be best friends in here? 
Belle just wants the grass. She sees that there's good grass on the other side. She wants it. Hi. We'll get you some apple treats. We bought that 20 pound bag, so we'll get you some, okay? The goats need breakfast. They're all acting like they're starving and they've never eaten in their life. And they have. They're just mad that they didn't get to go out today because EJ is gonna be driving the tractor back and forth and I don't want them out if I'm not gonna be home in a little bit. So they're gonna have to be in. And they really shouldn't be complaining anyway because they're getting second crop bales. There you go. There you go, eat up, lovelies. Eat up. Not hard. Okay, is using the 3010 to spread the manure. And the 3010 is a special kind of tractor around here because she don't like to start unless it's 80 degrees consistently. She's a tropical climate tractor and it's 49 this morning and i think he went and said a little prayer before he started it because he didn't know if it was going to start so he's going to put some diesel treatment in it because we are going into fall and it is going to get colder so we're going to try prevent it from not starting when we maybe need it tell in the everyone winter. how this tractor is it's, a shit. it's not a piece of shit. It's, i told them it's a tropical climate tractor yeah, did it start okay this morning yeah. Did you have to say a little prayer before you turned it on? It's 50 degrees out. I know, so it doesn't handle that very well. later all the manure is hauled so now time to feed the calf and then we're gonna put the manure spreader back in the pasture that the cattle are not in because it's closed right now and we can get everything put away in there and then I think we're gonna put there's something else like the square balers over there and then uh, there's a couple other things that go back in this pasture so we're gonna get those put away and then we'll have our yard back because all of those implements were just sitting in the yard We'll be done. He's so happy to be done, but I'm not kidding. Seven hours is what it took to haul the rest of that pile and then the little odds and ends. But I'll show you how good the pasture looks right now because everything is nice and flat and drying out. Hey, buddy. All right, that's it, sir. We're all done with that. Where's your friend? Where's Bell Bell? You hiding in the corner? What are you doing back here? You don't like your buddy? You not like your buddy back here? You're used to this barn being yours because you were in here by yourself for some time. Hi, excuse you, the bottle's gone. Excuse you. Yes. Hi, you don't like him or what? You don't like him? You good girl? Yeah. You're a good girl, Belle Belle. You'll be much happier in here. Get your leg all healed up. Bottle calf has just grown leaps and bounds since we pulled him from his mom. He is definitely bigger than his twin sister and doing just super duper this well. to get a bath. I've been summoned to bring this up while he goes back because the manure spreader is in its resting place for the winter. And, oh man, they're 80. Let's go. I forgot, we have a second shit spreader. 
I was like, wait, what's all up there? Second one. This is the parts. This is parts for the other one that might blow apart as well. It was a good vibe. I've been told it was a good vibe. not quite as nice. There's a bolt holding the jack in place. It's a nice bolt. Yeah, that is a nice bolt. Look at our selection of hitch pins. Selection of hitch pins here. Works good. Homemade hitch pin with a hole drilled through it. So we can use this guy to keep it, you know, while we drive it down the road. Put it move forward. And I gotta use this to put it in here. Alrighty. Almost loose. There. Perfect fit. Perfect. A pretty big catch you got there, kitten. Get that all by yourself? Yep. Everything looks nice and scraped down in here now. Ready to dry out. We've had a little bit of rain and that is what happens when there's a little bit of leftover manure. The ground can absorb it and it holds it and then we get puddles of water that the cows drink out of when they have fresh water elsewhere. They choose those dirty puddles. But everything looks good in here and it's ready for winter now and calving season and they can crap it all up again so we can scoop it all out in the spring. And now that it's all clean and everything's out of here, we can go let them back in so they can see their new cleaned out pasture. Hey, baby girl. What? She's my best friend. Hello! Again, I have nothing for you. New pen, new pen to look at. Yeah, I got, no, I got nothing. No treats for you, so sorry. Come around and see your new pen. It's wide open, girls. Gates open. Ooh, you gonna follow us? Yeah, you got a treat for me, lady? You got something for me? You good girl. Oh my God. You not know how to get around that? You stuck on that side? Everyone's preoccupied. There's a bale there. <laughs> I got nothing for you. Just wondering where all our poop went. You unimpressed? Very unimpressed. Where'd all my poop go? This, this is what we're talking about. Do not drink that water. Go. Get, there is fresh water from a fountain. Go on, Helen. Go on. You got quite the milk mustache, baby. Look at that. It is the next day. We finished all the manure spreading yesterday. We're gonna feed the cows really quick. And then um, is gonna come in here with the grapple and take out the old twine and then that's it. We're done with this project and everyone can get back to life as normal in the home pasture. It's 
a brave move. He put the veil down, and now he's got to go grab a ring to put over it. But as you can see, they stormed the veil, <laughs> and he's going to have a hard time putting it over there now. good on this video thank you guys for tuning in um, make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time bye guys